I know it might be a bit weird to hear this, but Mortal Kombat having a block button is actually a bit weird. Like most other fighting games, Street Fighter, Guilty Gear, Tekken, they all hold back to block or down back to block lows. So Mortal Kombat having a physical block button is a bit different. And if you grew up playing Mortal Kombat and that's all you know, you might be thinking one step. What do you mean? That's totally normal. And I'm here to tell you today that it's actually not. This is not a complaining video. I don't really mind it. It's more of an educational video, especially for those that don't know how other fighting games actually work and the benefits of not having a block button at all. Like there are more than a few benefits of not having a block button and just holding back to block. And here's what I mean. Take it one step at a time. First, make sure and subscribe here for more fighting game content. And let's get into this discussion of like why having a block button is a bit weird or different. Let me at least plead my case. Again, I'm not really complaining. I'm just educating the differences between Mortal Kombat's block mechanic and other fighting games and the trade-offs you get, both pros and cons. So if you're playing on controller, which like a lot of players do, you'll find that your block button is typically your trigger or a bumper. And when fighting, that's pretty easy to pull off. You know, you're just pulling the trigger, or like holding it down or something. You might not think anything of it. But for a lot of players that play on a hitbox, a fight stick, just like myself here, your buttons are all right here, you know, punch, kick, cameo. You have to physically map a block button where it could be something else. So it can be a bit harder on a hitbox to actually map a block button. Have to worry about that while trying to press everything else. End of your emotions. It's not a skill issue, it's just a bit harder because now you have to worry about, okay, where do I put my block button? And then not only that, but Mortal Kombat uses the block button to enhance your special moves. So you can make sure that that feels right also with wherever your, your other attack buttons are. And then Fatal Blow also uses your block button so now you gotta worry about okay where's my stance button at i gotta push both that and my block button together to do my fatal blow and that can all be pretty simple on a controller but can be a bit weird to map out on a hitbox so let's get over the fact that you have to map it out on a hitbox if you use one there are a couple other issues with having a block button the first one is you can't attack while holding block and again i know a lot of you guys are like well what do you mean that would be so dumb if you could when you hold block you should be able to be attacking well yes and no it again and most other fighting games that don't have a block button you can just hold back or down back to block and then attack from blocking like right now with raiden i'm smashing my other attack buttons it's it's nothing's gonna happen i have to physically let go of block then do an attack whether that be forward punch, back punch, back kick, whatever it is. And you might not think anything of that, but again, the milliseconds it takes to let go of block, then plan your attacks, it does kind of rack up a little bit and it does take some getting used to, of course. Whereas in other fighting games, you don't have to worry about that. You can attack from blocking because you're just holding back or down back to block. So for a visual example, for Ryu, we have our normal standing heavy kick. We have our back heavy kick. You can see the difference there. We're gonna hold back to block we're holding back. I can immediately press my heavy kick and it's gonna do my back heavy kick. So if I'm in front of my opponent, I'm gonna block for a microsecond, then do my back heavy kick. You see, I'm attacking from blocking, and that can make a major difference in a fighting game. Not only can you not attack from blocking with holding a block button in Mortal Kombat, but you also can't grab. Like, I'm trying to grab right now, it's not gonna come out. Again, you have to let go of block, then go for the grab. In that same vein, you cannot escape a grab either while blocking. Same thing, you have to let go of block, then try and tech the throw. So if we're blocking, I'm trying to escape the throw, it's not gonna happen. But if I let go of block, then I can escape the throw. And that can be pretty hard at first, especially because you gotta do a lot of things at one time, right? You have to like let go of block, then take the throw. And Mortal Kombat 1's throws are already a 50-50, and that's a whole nother conversation. It's not just grab them right back to escape it. You have to guess, are they gonna do a forward throw or a back throw? And then take it from there. So in a matter of like less than a half a second, you have to like literally let go of block, then guess the throw, guess right, then escape it. So it's rough, man. I know what the comments are gonna say, just my Micro duck it. It's easier said than done. This is for the majority of players. But again, in most other games like Street Fighter, you can escape throws even when you're blocking. Like so, we're blocking here. I'm just gonna escape the throw as I see it coming. There it is. I'm gonna try to do it one more time. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see the throw coming and then escape it. There it is. All while I'm blocking. And yes, even while you're blocking, you can grab. You're gonna see a micro back and then grab. That is me throwing while I'm blocking. Both things can happen while you're blocking. There's no punish in other fighting games for you blocking. You can do anything from that stance. Another problem that I have with having a block button is cross-ups do not exist in Mortal Kombat. What's a cross-up? Well, for a visual representation on screen, Luke has to hold back to block. But if I jump over him and do a medium kick and hit him at the very last second of me landing, he's technically at that point holding forward, thus he's not blocking. Like this, slow motion motion.
And cross-ups are actually a really big deal in fighting games. You get the up on your opponent, get your combo started, but it's also a risk because you're gonna be jumping and a lot of characters have good anti-airs. So there's a lot of micro decisions happening there as well. Whereas in Mortal Kombat, if your opponent's blocking, they're gonna block everything. You jump over and kick them. There's no cross-up. No, cross-ups do not exist in Mortal Kombat. So it's kind of a get out of jail free card if you just hold block and block everything. You get the idea. You can't do cross-ups at all. Having back to block in other fighting games opens the door for what's called charge characters. A foreign concept in Mortal Kombat, because again, you have to have back to block in order to do this usually. Characters like Blanca, Guile, DJ, and even Chun-Li are charge characters. And the reason why is because as you see here, our Kokokin, that yellow back means hold back, then press forward and punch together to do her projectile. That concept does not exist in Mortal Kombat. And you might think, well, what's the benefit of doing a charge input like this? It makes your reaction times a hell of a lot faster because you're already holding back to blocks, so you're blocking. And then the second you press forward and punch, you're gonna do projectile. That idea can be a bit weird to put inside of combos because then during the combo you gotta like hold back so when you land your press forward punch and do a do projectile or even her spinning bird kick which is actually hold down and up kick. So like while I am blocking I can press forward punch. There's a projectile. Many characters, different play styles can absolutely benefit off being a charge character. I can't play them personally, but they're a great archetype. And I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record here, but again, that concept just does not exist in Mortal Kombat. It's not a bad thing. I just think having a more variety of archetype characters can really benefit the fighting game as a whole, giving you a variety for characters, play styles, setup, stuff like that. Whether you hate charge characters or not, having that variety of character archetype is really cool. Am I complaining that having a block button is absolutely terrible? No. I just think it's different. I think it's a bit weird, honestly. Because NetherRealm Studios, they made Injustice and Injustice had back to block and down back to block. So they have the capability of doing so, but they continue to decide to have a block button in Mortal Kombat. And it's just a bit different. Not bad, just different. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of having a block button in Mortal Kombat? Is it good? Is it bad? Do you like it? Do you hate it? If you've never played any other fighting game, do you see the idea now? Let me know all your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more fighting game content. Take it one step at a time.